<sighs> I know it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. Let's talk about it. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. As I open up the game, let's uh, <laughs> discuss, I guess, what's been going on. I guess the short answer is a mental health break. I really, I was burned out, burned out. Not, not anything major or anything, just really a mental health break. I mean, this, this pandemic has definitely um, worn, worn on me. I know it's worn on probably a lot of you. It's worn on everybody. But for me, it definitely wore me down to the point where I was starting to get burned out, not just with the game, not just with making videos, really with everything, really everything. And so I went, I struggled for a little bit there. And what initially was like, hey, you know what, I'm going to take a week off and just, and just try to get myself together. Um, it just became harder and harder to make a video after that because it was like I, I kept getting my stuff together. I'm like, all right, tomorrow I'll make a video. Let's get back at it. Um, but the game itself, it was getting kind of repetitive, and um, even now that I'm back, it's still repetitive, and we'll talk about that in a second, like why I'm still interested in it, because um, we're still doing a lot of the same things. I hope this, this 1920s thing, maybe will throw a little wrench in things, or a little, not a wrench in a bad way to mix things up. But every time I was about to make a video, I just, I, I just didn't have the energy, and I, if you've ever been in a situation like that where you're just, you really are burned out on life, um, it's hard to find the energy to, to answer a phone call, to answer an email, um, to even get up to do something. So certainly getting out and making a video, a little more effort there, and I just wasn't finding I had the energy to do it. So in the interim, um, actually a lot of stuff has happened. Um, I do work summer camp, so that was part of it is that my days were actually very full, which left little time to make videos, to get out and do stuff, and then it would be super hot and that kind of thing. So it, it was a lot of factors, it, it all starting with me being burned out, but then those other factors Factors really didn't help to incentivize me to want to go out because I knew it would be a struggle. In addition, during that time, just to kind of get me down a little further, um, my car actually broke down for a while, so I didn't even have a vehicle for a little bit, followed by a partial tear of my Achilles tendon. I actually coached gymnastics, um, just doing normal stuff, normal floor exercise with my gymnast, and ended up partially tearing my Achilles, which I'm still recovering from. Still have a bit of a limp, I'm out of a boot, that kind of thing. So my mobility was out, so all these factors really did contribute to making it harder for me to get videos done for you guys. But um, I really started to try to get myself back together about, it was about a week ago. About a week ago I thought I was making this video, for sure. Um, I had a plan, I had my camera ready, I was gonna go out, I was gonna make a video. I had a family event later in the day, but the plan was to film the video earlier and then do this family event. Um, but I, I ended up waking up later than I wanted to and then I just kind of put it off and at that point I just ended up going to the family event, just celebrating a birthday party um, with my immediate family, my mom and my dad and my brothers and sister. But anyway, since that time I really, I've opened the game back up. Any of you that got some gifts from me the other day, you saw that, hey, he, he, he gave some gifts out. He must be back playing the game because I, I, it wasn't even like I was playing the game. I wasn't doing those events. Um, I barely was opening the game at all. I wasn't doing a lot of things really. But most recently I started to think about what was it that I really liked about this game? And it wasn't the, the trying to win and stuff. It's the Harry Potter theme. That's always been what's really done it for me. So I actually started watch, going back and I watched all the Harry Potter movies. And once I watched the movies, um, I opened up the game again and that music came on and that really reminded me like this is what I enjoy about the game. Uh, the winning or losing or the, the completionist is something I do and I think I got too hung up on that as completing things but now I'm realizing it's actually just the theme. I, I really love it. It's the escapism. I mean even when I was, as a kid I wanted to be a wizard for sure. You wanted to be able to do ma magic. So anyway. Um, getting back in the game and playing, I'm still going to certainly complete things because I like to do that, but now I'm not doing the things just to complete them. I'm trying to enjoy the ride, and I hope that's something you guys do too. I, I feel like it's something I did early on in the game. I really was just enjoying being a wizard and casting those spells and stuff like that, and I just hope they start to add new stuff to the game. You know, I said this was going to be a short version of it. It ended up kind of being a long version. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, I don't normally ramble like this about non-Harry Potter things, so let's get into Harry Potter itself. So let's, let's just look at what's on the board here. Let me show you where I am in this event because I did start this event already. Um, I'm on step two. I need one more Brilliant Secrets Revealed Runestone. I got you know, four of those before I even got to this step by just getting event foundables and not opening that event registry before I got here. But I need three Tom Riddles, which I did return two Tom Riddles while I was working on step one, but it didn't really help me. So really I'm looking for Tom Riddles right now. But I'm also going to hit all these brilliance too, because these brilliance are obviously going to help me get that last runestone. So, oh, I have a couple of achievements. After I get this, let's go to my achievements. There's two achievements I've um, 
Got, I got these a while ago, but I purposely haven't actually gone and re got the rewards from them because I was going to wait for you guys just so I could show you where I was on some of these achievements. I'm sure it's stuff you guys have, have done a while ago, but let's go over to registry and down to... Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Where are my achievements? Sorry, back here at special assignments. So under achievements, let me go over there. You'll see um, the Protego 20,000 times. I actually did this before I even stopped that this pause on making videos. I got it and I just kept forgetting in videos to go collect it. So I did this 20,000 a, a little while ago. I mean, it's been like a couple months that I did it. So let's collect that. Definitely got that. But also in the interim, um, I have still been bruising some potions and I got up to bring 2,000 potions. So that gets us a little bit, a little bit of gold and a new new title slash placard reward that I'm not super interested in. You can also see I'm still level 55, 367,000 experience into that 100, so I'm hoping to hit that eventually. Today I am up at Cary Town Hall, which Cary Town Hall is actually to my left, and then there's actually a police station right here, which um, not for me personally, but for anybody wanting to play this game, and for Pokemon Go, this used to be a popular spot. It's a great area with the police station here, obviously 24 hours, they've got police coming in and out. So even at night, this place is pretty safe to be because, because of the security around. It's just government buildings. Um, you saw the fountains at the beginning, a lot of nice greenery around here and that type of thing. And that's why I like to come play here. Also, um, even now I'm sitting down at a, a shaded table that, and they can even be moved so you can move it to shaded areas, which is quite nice. So anyway, let's walk around a bit and let's see if we can find some Tom Riddles. I think I'm going to put a Brufios on and a Tonic for Trace Detection and walk around a little, although today it's, I think it's 96 degrees right now. And then the heat index put it somewhere at like 105 or something because our humidity levels are so high here in North Carolina but gonna walk around anyway brought my towel with me because I know I'll be sweating a bit and uh, be able to wipe that off actually just got a haircut just got a haircut a second ago uh, down in downtown Cary right near to where I am now there's a place that I get my haircut sometimes and not that you're probably wondering like you know hey that's not a lot of hair to be cut you are correct but fixing up the back, that's almost the main reason I go there. It has nothing to do with the top. I could do that myself. Um, it's the back, getting them to just kind of clean that up for me and <laughs> make it look nice. Anyway, let's get going finding some Tom Riddles. Right. as you saw, I did get three Tom Riddles. I actually got a fourth Tom Riddle. None of them were in the wild, though. One of them was a Buckbeak. I threw a Trace Charm on a Buckbeak that wasn't spawned for my Tonic for Trace Detection and um, managed to get two Tom Riddles out of that. And then the next one, I can't remember. It wasn't even a high threat or an emergency level. It was something else, but I got two Tom Riddles off of that, too. So, so four total, and that was really my goal, was just to try to get through that and get the Brilliant Rune Stones, which I did just by getting Brilliant Foundables. I ended up ranking that up a couple times. And I, you saw on one of those Tom Riddles, one of those Tom Riddles, I got up to seven, so I placed his image, which got me some rank ups in Dark Arts. And one of the trunks gave me a, an in charm recharge. And then the next trunk in that same placement, the next trunk from Dark Arts got me a trace charm recharge. So recharge, recharge, which was really nice. I had just used both of them too. So it was four out of five, and then I went right back up to five out of five. And then I used another trace charm to get those other. So anyway, let's collect this couple of stimulo potions and some bitter root for doing that. And then let's get these final rewards, those restricted section books. Um, can always use those for some things. I'm still not on my SOS tree. Uh, so now I've got 12 brilliant Hagrids, which I've gotten a bunch today just doing stuff around here. 15 great spell casts and 15 foes and wizarding challenges, which is something I'll probably do at home. I usually do wizarding challenges at home. Probably going to load up on some energy. Let me look here. I have, yeah, I'm 294 right now out of two, or 204, excuse me, out of 255. I'm probably going to top off my energy. You can see there's a decent number of inns around here. Maybe even use the in charm on a couple to get a little extra. But my goal is going to be maybe to top off my energy 
and then call it a day here. Probably do some challenges at home and I'll probably pick up those Hagrids and those great spell casts same time along the way. So the next time we meet, most likely I'll be on the next set of requirements or next step for the four out of four before we get to the bonus tasks. I know it's a bit of a shorter video in the sense of Harry Potter Wizards Unite content, more just catching up on what's been going on in my life. Uh, be sure that the next videos moving forward will be a lot more Harry Potter Wizards Unite content, as well as I really would like to start um, maybe going over a little more Harry Potter news, just the world of Harry Potter in a smaller scale and still do Wizards Unite, obviously, as the main thing that we're doing. And like we talked about earlier, this 1920s event coming up, I'm hoping that is a little bit different instead of the same formula we've been following for a while, which it definitely has been repetitive. Um, burns me out, I'm sure it burns some other people out. So I'm really hoping this uh, 20s event, it just maybe makes things a little bit different. And um, hopefully I will have a video coming out about that. It might even be tomorrow that I might put that video out. Depending, I'm going to go look into that. I haven't looked into it at all about, you know, what's going to go on with it and stuff like that. I was really just trying to get this video out for you guys. And to all of you that reached out in my comments on previous videos and asked, you know, hey, am I doing okay? Where am I? Am I still playing the game? I did see those. I appreciate it. Um, again, just that energy to be able to respond or to make this video just wasn't there yet, but it's back now. As always, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Knox.